Hello friend, Satish Tiwari here from Ethical Hacking Tuition Center Jaipur. Today we are going to learn how to configure or how to enable Telnet service in Ubuntu 24. So guys there is a change, some change in the Ubuntu 24. So as you can see this is Ubuntu 24. So in this Ubuntu how you can enable Telnet services, how you can install Telnet services, let's learn stepwise. First of all, you need to update the repository sudo apt update. Then type the password for the user Satish. Once you type the correct password, it will start updating the repository. Once the repository will be updated, you can install the Telnet server package that is sudo apt install telnet d okay this is the telnet server package hyphen y for yes and this will install telnet service or telnet software inside your ubuntu linux machine which is your latest ubuntu ubuntu 24 now you can clear the screen just after clearing the screen you need to make you need to make certain changes in the configuration file of the telnet remember it's not in the previous version but in the this version you have to edit the configuration file of telnet and let me show you the configuration file sudo nano etc and the configuration file is intd.conf okay this is the configuration file so you need to go to this configuration file and just go downside at the last line okay and it's at the last line you have to add a line that is telnet a space you have to give here a space okay after and then press stream then a space and then tcp and then no wait after tcp a space and then no wait and then you have to type root and then usr remember you have to use a space carefully okay s bin tcpd service and then a space again usr to type has been telnet d the service name or the daemon name okay so you have to write this line and just save this control x to save press y to save and enter and done now the configuration has been done now it's time to restart the telnet service how to restart the service sudo system ctl and then restart INTD. This is the service name INTD. Just run this command. Now it's time to check the status. So how to check the status? System CTL status INTD. And now you can see it's active and running. So when it's active and running, it's okay. Now you can press Ctrl C and it's working. So now it's time to allow the telnet serving in the firewall. So it's time to allow sudo ufw allow and as you know the port number for telnet is 23 so allow the port number 23 and done now you can check your ip address so sudo or you can just type if config to check your ip address so our ip address is 192.168.29.112 this is our ip address now go to your windows machine go to the command prompt in the command prompt type telnet and the ip address of your ubuntu machine that is where telnet server has been configured 29.112 that is the ip address of your ubuntu linux machine press enter it's asking for login login name satish which is your user on the ubuntu password 123456 which is satish password and now you can see you are logging inside the Ubuntu Linux machine here you can run the Linux machine command like calendar and now anything like history command whatever command you have run here so you can run all those command Linux command because you are now login uh, remotely login inside the Ubuntu machine which is Ubuntu 24 using telnet service so in this way you can configure telnet you can log into the telnet machine and for your convenience I am running the history command so that you can learn so you can see from line number nine it's used to check the 
OS which version you are using line number 10 to update the repository line number 11 to install the telnet package 13 telnet configuration file 14 to restart the telnet service 15 to check the telnet service line number 16 to allow the telnet service in the firewall and then line number 72 to check the IP address and that's all in this way you can simply configure your telnet services on latest Ubuntu 24.04 so guys i hope you understand it thank you thank you for watching but if you still have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section